All right, I'm gonna drink uh, some water on y'all real quick. Ah, for all y'all that like ASMR. Okay, so in this video, I'm gonna go over all these tech stocks. These are like the main tech stocks that are my favorite. So if you're watching this and uh, you like tech stocks and you know of some that aren't on this list, please leave comments because I love watching stocks and I think that the tech industry has been hit so bad. Uh, I think there's going to be some massive opportunity, especially in the next few months. We'll see what happens like uh, economically and like uh, worldwide and in the next few months, but I do think there is massive opportunity. So we'll start off with Apple. And we'll continue onward. Um, but here is here is it's clear. It's not too difficult for me to point out, but I see this falling channel, right? Something like this. That's what we're watching here. We want to see if this is going to be a longer term bounce, right? So if this is going to be leading into November, right? November is right here. Let's mark that out. November is right about here. And if we're going to get some sort of rally into November, we want to see us break out in, of this channel and push towards this upper trend line, something like that. Will it happen that fast? Who knows? But uh, that's what we'll be looking for. Again, weekly time frame. we zoom out. It's clear that that trend line on Apple has been and is going to be the major deciding factor of when this major bear market is changed once we break up over it with major volume i think uh there will be a significant like trend change in the market like a lot of things will be going upward again changing this uh bear market sentiment that's what i'm thinking with apple so the way i'm looking at apple is instead of looking at it for trades i'm kind of looking at it as even though there probably will be many good trade opportunities i am thinking of it as an overall market sentiment uh, gauge, right? So if we're bullish right here, most of tech is going to be bullish right here, right? So imagine if we're trying to get something that looks like this, right? Maybe we're trying to form some W pattern right now before we get this breakout. That could be a potential play. I don't want to rule that out. But um, if that is the case, and Apple starts ripping, the rest of the market will likely rip as well because it is a market leader. So that's why I keep track of Apple. Here we have AMD, massive downward channel on a weekly time frame. We're starting to get real juicy on uh, some of these names, man. I think real juicy opportunity is coming because we're down now 61% huge channel again once we break above this with some nice volume i don't see why that wouldn't be the play to go along here i do think micro like microchips are never going to go away so amd and nvidia are like they're huge on this list and they're again right very similar amd look at this massive fucking like this could be you could look at it as a triangle a channel this right here is beautiful man like we're getting tighter and tighter and tighter in this range let's delete all of these garbage lines out of there and actually look at this from a perspective that makes sense i look at it at something like that something like that right look at that just getting tighter and tighter on the weekly time frame right back into this zone here so going long right now could be the play Right, right back into this major zone here in NVIDIA. So we spent, and we know this is a zone on the weekly time frame too, because one, look at this, May, this is back August 2020. We could just mark out that day, right? Say we delete that box, we could do simply something like this. And that'll tell you everything. That alone, look at this, we're right back into that zone. We're trying to get that book breakout. Um, the next few weeks we want to break out above this and that would get a nice push. We would then be looking 
right? If it, we do get that play, right? And I like to look at NVIDIA as another follower for AMD. So AMD and NVIDIA follow each other a lot. But here's what I'm looking at. Do we get a push into that zone, right? If we can get this weekly breakout out of this falling wedge, right? This is our supply uh, demand zone. We have a falling wedge on a weekly time frame, leading right back into it. Let's look what at the 200 EMA looks like. Ooh, right around there. So we're dipping right around the, right below the 200 EMA. Will we get right above it? Man, options would be so juicy right now for all these names. Uh, Shopify. I just did a video on it. It it looks great. Here we have Microsoft. Let's remove all the drawings we got on Microsoft. A nice bullish engulfing though on this weekly time frame. Looks pretty similar, right, to the past three. We have uh, a lot of tech has this like falling channel slash wedge kind of going on 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 the weekly time frame. So long term, I do think it's very intriguing. Uh, Google, wow, same thing. That is gorgeous. You see that on Google, and wow. Uh, this one's a sleeper. We got skills here. This one looks a lot more beat up than the rest of them. I believe Skills is a gaming company. Again, I don't know too much about the fundamentals. I don't really pay attention to that. But again, a weekly time frame. Look at this volume just dying down slowly. We're starting to see, right? We're fizzling out. Are we curling up? Fake out, curl up, fake out. I think this name will be a sleeper. Like, even up to this zone. If we get a push, just because tech is getting a push, which could very well happen. There's like a 300, 400% trade here, which is like, I don't want to sleep on that, man. Um, That's beauty trade. 200%. Ah, I was a little bit exaggerated. But even still, right? Like, holy smokes. Imagine this wanted to go back to 12 and you're catching this at a bottom. Who knows, like, how this stock could perform. But we want to see eventually... We want to see it curl if anything's going to happen. Uh, it also could never come up to these prices ever again. So <laughs> also keep that in mind. It could be just the shittiest trade idea ever. <laughs> I like to pay attention to it. Uh, here we have AI. This one's an interesting stock. Um, it keeps get, we keep getting faked out down here. This one's another one that looks like skills, right? getting absolutely murdered since 2021 murdered and uh we're leaving gaps behind so eventually we want to see us curl right back up and fill this gap we'll uh point that out right here this gap right here we want to see that eventually get filled and we want to see right there was big volume coming in and we want to see if that continues to happen we keep beating earnings so we want to see us gather in this zone something like this right could that be the case who knows um i want to see us base and get a big booty bottom in here so uh that's what i'm looking for these are all the tech stocks i'm kind of watching Ta tesla's the last one this one's a beauty of course but uh again look at this major kind of zone here we're gonna delete that and just put a chat channel it's a little bit more appealing to the eye when we have a channel but this is what we're looking at here on tesla and to be fair if you don't like it that's what it is man if we break up over this the trend is going to continue upward um if not then that's going to be our deciding factor of resistance for a long time but that's what we're watching here on all these tech stocks if there is any more that you know of like comment down below i love keeping track of all these peace